Hi, Miss Bong Hoi. I'm Lin Ban Ninh. Nice to see you in here. How are you today? Hello, Miss Ban Ninh. I'm doing great. Thank you. And how about you? Well, I'm also great. Thank you for having participated in our research study. And to remind you again our about our topic, we are researching on learning strategy used by high academic performer, a case with a group of EFL college students, and you're definitely our target participant. So we wish to learn some inside detail from you about some of the effective learning strategy as well as um, the challenges that you encounter during applying the strategy and also how would you deal with it and so would you spare a five minute for the interview and would you mind if I record the meeting as well please don't worry about the information because everything will be kept confidential for you and also there is no right or wrong in your answer so please don't feel pressure to freely express your opinion or express yourself so is it is it fine for you and do you have any question for me no, I don't have any for now. Okay, so I will start recording right now. Um, so to start with with our first question, um, could you tell us how would you define effective learning strategy? Um, I think effective learning strategy are the are the strategy that would help students to study effectively. Um, could you elaborate a little more on that? Um, I mean that the strategy will help students comprehend their lesson better, remember the lesson lasts longer, having good arrangement with their schoolwork, time and effort, and work smart, not work hard, and obtain a good performance as a result. Yeah, thank you. That is very detailed. And um, so, could you tell us some of the effective learning strategy that you were able to come up with at that time? Um, the there are three best strategies that I apply. Uh, having good time management, summarizing and note taking, and revising. Firstly, for good time management, I really procrastinate doing my schoolwork. I always come, um, I always tear into my work as soon as I got it. And this point, my work would have a lot of time for good development, and I myself wouldn't panic for uh, the due date as well. Secondly, during lecture, I was always an active listener, sum up everything quickly and note it down in simplified version to show that I understand the lesson and last but not least, I always divide the lesson before and after class. This way I could get to learn um, three times already before the exam. Uh, I always said that knowledge remains only if I divide and get it. Well, that's our, uh, those are very great strategy but I believe that somehow there are still um, challenges or difficulty in applying the strategy. So um, could you tell us some of your uh, some of the challenges that you encounter at that time and how would you deal with it um at first i was having a hard time dividing task and time for each work and <coughs> i even forgot to do some assignments sometimes but later on i found a tip to it like i used to prepare a schedule or to-do list on my phone with that i could track up my time as well as my assignment and another struggle that i had was about revision uh, I always want to skip revision after class before because I feel that I had already got the lesson and but I challenged myself for a month to not skip it and as the result I got a good score better than uh, the month that I didn't read a uh, review or revise and that that's why I rely it and decided to overcome it. Wow, such a great story of oneself and very impressive improvement of yours and um, I can say is that I can learn a lot from you at the moment and um, I think that pretty much it for the interview and shall we call it a day and thank you for your kind contribution in our research study and I hope to work with you and see you around once again. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Sainik, for coming to this interview. My name is Chan Sok Heng, and I can't say thank you enough for your willingness to help me. Yes, thank you for having me as well today. Yeah, well, as you know, the reason for this interview is that we want to know the 
learning strategy, effective learning strategy used by homing student in the EFL context, right? And you are one of the student qualified that we want to interview. And by the end of the interview, we hope to find out what strategy was effective and how uh, or if there are any uh, difficulty encounter during the process. And the interviewing time will be about five minutes if it, you're comfortable with it. Yes, I'm okay with it. And you don't have to worry about long or short answer or right or wrong answer. There's no uh, such answer as long as it comes from you and we know that it's true. We uh, don't have to worry that it's right or wrong. Okay? As long as it's your opinion, right? Yes. And you don't have to worry about your face or your voice getting out. This recording is just um, a mean for us to transcribe um, this recording to um, word and we will generalize it after too. So people don't know what who you're talking about or what you're talking about now or who you are in the interview. So you don't have to worry. And if you are uncomfortable in the process, it's okay for you to um, pull out or stop the interview at any time. Is it okay with you? Yes, yes. Yes. Um, now we move on to our first question. So, what are some of the effective learning strategies that you were able to come up with or you find when you are learning? Okay, um, thank you for the question. Um, I think um, what I have um, been learning and trying to do for uh, my learning process um, is that I have found one uh, learning strategies from internet and um, it, it is called the meta cognitive uh, cognitive Cognitive. and um, this one is the process um, that me as a learner um, I have to know my own ability and um, also my strength and weakness as well this one is really helpful for me because um, I can know what um, I'm good at and what is my weakness during uh, my um, studying so that I can um, learn from the mistake that I have made and trying to solve uh, the problem that I have faced as well and um, I would say that um, this learning process um, require um, something like um, note taking, um, time management, and as well as uh, the practice um, every day, so that I can know and uh, learn from uh, the subject that I have learned, as well as uh, improve my uh, knowledge skill as well. So that's it. Oh, I see. So note taking is. Then what do you do it on um, digital device or notebook? Um, so for me, um, during um, this online learning, I prefer not taking on um, digital device like computer or phone like that because it's um, kind of um, effective for me and it is really helpful as well. Okay. Yes. yes. That is very useful technology nowadays. Huh? Yes. Now we move on to the next question. Could you tell us some experience or difficulty you may have encountered during the process of trying to apply the method that you have found? Um, okay, so um, I would say that before I have known these um, strategies, um, I don't really have an effective uh, learning strategies at all before. So uh, when I have found it, I try to apply. So uh, as a beginner, uh, when we try to do something, we always face um, the problems or any um, thing that we have never known before. So when I try to apply, especially for the time management, it is not um, really good for me to apply uh, at first because it require me to be uh, like um, punctual and as well as um, to uh, not for me to not uh, to be lazy yes and so uh, this is this one is very hard and difficult for me but um, as 
time pass by i i think that it's really effective when uh, i uh, try to manage my time from uh, one task to another task so that um, i have enough time and um, uh, it is yeah uh, in short it is really good to apply for it as well and for note taking for me uh, this one uh, before i just uh, take note in the book or anything uh, like just a short note taking it's not really um the fruitful uh note taking at all but now i try to take note uh, on everything so when i uh, go back to the lesson or any subject that i'm still uh not not really understand so that i can go to the note taking and it is uh helpful for me yeah to uh, understand the lesson better and okay. that is so that's how you overcome it, right? Yes. That is very insightful. And well, I think that should be um, the end because it's all the question that I have to ask. And you have been very helpful in giving information. And I think it's going to be um, a very fruitful uh, interview. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming and goodbye. Yes, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.